Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. And in this segment, I'm going to be showing you how to interpret odds ratio when the odds ratio is less than one. Now, um, as I have said in uh, numerous videos previously, um, odds ratio greater than one is um, quite intuitive to exp um, explain and uh, interpret. However, when odds ratio is less than one, that is not so um, and this is not so easy to interpret. So one of the ways to um, s circumvent that problem is to create is to generate from odds ratio less than one to greater than one. And you might be asking yourself, how on earth would you do that? Well, I'll show you a little trick here. This is something I learned um, over the years um, in, with my work at Hopkins. Um, so what you can do is turn this into the denominator. So the idea is take the reciprocal of this number and you'll see an odds ratio that is above one. Um, so let me show you a couple ways here. One is to um, switch female versus male. So right now this is female compared to male. So females get Le is less likely to get diabetes than males. Um, so what we can do is switch these and say, what is the likelihood of, of um, developing diabetes for males compared to females? And if you do that, then this will be a number that is greater than one. Um, so you could just manually divide, manually, um, divide one by 0.722. And when you do that, you get 1.39. So 1.39 is a lot more, a lot easier to interpret. So when you have 1.39, that means 1.39 times um, likelihood of diabetes among males versus females. So males um, develop more diabetes than females. Um, let me show you another way that you can interpret that well uh, present an odds ratio that is greater than one so when you go to logistic regression again remember we're running complex samples of logistic regression um, when you select remember I have a plan file that has already been created um, beyond the scope of this video um, and then select continue and then when you select continue and you're going into odds ratio um, on the menu to the right um, click on the odds ratio and then you can change any of these variables um, into uh, into a different reference category. So the reference category here should be switched to lowest value. Or what you can do is directly make female the reference category. And when you do so, and select continue and select OK, then what you develop I'm going to show you here the difference. What you develop here is um, is an odds ratio that is greater than one. Right here, so again, when you make female the reference category, then now that this is switched over, now you're trying to measure to what extent is male um, and likelihood are males likelihood developed to diabetes versus females. So as you can see, you don't even have to deal with uh, decimals or um, numbers that are less than one. When you have numbers greater than one, you can just say here that there's 1.38 as a male. There's 1.38 times of developing diabetes compared to females. And then you have the lower and upper confidence interval. So I hope this has made some sense in interpreting odds ratio. Um, th thank you for listening.